Hi, everybody. I'm Aki, and welcome to All Games No Masters, where we feature TTRPGs featuring no GMs. There are no game masters at this table, just four players who are about to, well, probably make a mess of everything and have a lot of fun doing it. I'm uh, going to take a moment really quick to introduce everybody sitting here at the table with me, sitting here at the table. Obviously, there is no table. There is only the internet void in which we all live in now. Um, uh, let's start with Max. Hi, I'm Max Isaacson. How's it going? It's so nice to be here in the void with you all. And Amanda. Hello, I am Amanda. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen you on the streams. So hello, I'm excited to see you and play. And last but certainly not least, uh, my very old friend, Randy. Hello. I'm Randy Alvarenga. Uh, yeah, I know Aki from Japan, and I'm just honored to be able to sit at the table with these awesome people, or the void, whichever. <laughs> so we are uh, doing this in conjunction with RPG Exploration Society, which is the uh, little thing that Dom put together in order to encourage people to explore lesser known RPGs. And today we are playing The Quiet Year, uh, which has been made by a company called uh, Lesser Unknown, I believe is what, they're, what they go by. Um, and uh, so the way this is gonna work is uh, today, I'm the facilitator because I'm the one who chose this game. Uh, we all had the opportunity to choose a GMless RPG system that we really wanted to try. This is the one that I chose. So I am the facilitator today. Um, and uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, bear with me, y'all, because uh, this should be fun. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Quiet Year is essentially a map building RPG wherein you as a community uh, solve problems, um, create this community together. And the premise of the story is that you are in a somewhat remote location trying to survive what is has become the quiet year. Prior to that, you were under assault from a group known as the Jackals, and they have since gone away, and now you have the opportunity to kind of live your life. Um, this game is played uh, with cards. Um, in fact, if we can if we can go to the roll twenty, I can do some some quick explaining of the story uh, to our um, lovely audience. Um, yeah, great. So, um, the opening story is, for a long time, we were at war with the jackals. Now, finally, we've driven them off and we're left with this, a year of relative peace. One quiet year with which to build our community up and learn again how to work together. Come winter, the Frost Shepherds will arrive and we might not survive the encounter. This is when the game will end, but we don't know about that yet. What we know is that right now, in this moment, there is an opportunity to build something. Uh, the way that this tool works is um, we can quickly explain. Okay, cool. That's as big as I think it's going to get. Cool. Ah, there we go. That works better. Explaining the tools. Uh, let's start familiarizing ourselves with our tools. Uh, we have a blank page, which is the map on which we will be building all of our different uh, composite parts. Um, before playing, we'll establish some of the landscape. And as we play, we'll update the map to reflect new discoveries, conflicts, and opportunities. Part of the map will be literal cartography, and other parts will be symbolic. We'll try to avoid writing words on it, though common symbols are fine. Throughout the game, we'll all be responsible for drawing on this map. It's fine to draw poorly or crudely, but all of us are going to draw. Um, and then we also have dice. Uh, there are no actual dice in the Roll20 system for us to use as markers, so we have all uh, decided to have uh, representations of that at our own tables. Um, if uh, And we will also write numbers uh, symbolizing the value on the die uh, for all of you to see. Um, let's see. Uh, this is project. These are project dice. When our community starts a project, we'll place one of them on the map to note how many weeks it will take to finish. Each week, they tick down by one. 
When a die reaches zero, the project is complete. We then have something called contempt tokens. Uh, we all have our own representation of contempt. Um, contempt tokens represent any tension and frustration that might arise in the community. Um, and then we have the summary cards. Uh, the summary cards are uh, basically what we will do each week of the quiet year and in what order. Uh, I believe those are in our deck. Um, all right, uh, explaining the deck of cards. We have four seasons and four suites. Uh, hearts are spring, diamonds are summer, clubs are autumn, and spades are winter. Um, when this card is, uh, uh, sorry, one more time, uh, point to the four suites, blah, 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 and explain they correspond to the four seasons. Taking the stack of spades, there is the king of spades. The king of spades represents the frost giants. When this card is drawn, the game will be over, and it will come at any time during the winter. Um, yeah, so uh, do I have any questions from my lovely group of players? I feel pretty good about it. I mean, I'm like iffy on the frost shepherds and what they're doing. Yeah, we're not, we're not happy with them. But I think the first thing that we need to determine is what our community actually is. Like, who are we as a community? How, what, what, like, are, do you have any ideas of who we want to be? Hmm. Okay, Amanda. Yeah, Amanda, go Hi. Boy. Yes. Yes, I would like us. Um, so I thought it might be interesting if we were uh, demons who were expelled from hell and forced to live on Earth as humans. <laughs> like, like we got transfigured, transfigured into humans. And you're like, oh, no, I'm I am on Earth now, but I am a demon and I have this human suit now. What do I do? I say that we every day. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> is this Max? Are we all just playing Max? <laughs> it's just Max's reality. I thought we would we would play in it. Sounds good. Uh, I, I, I'm kind of into that idea of displaced demons who are suddenly forced to live their lives as humans and have no idea how to do that. I, I think that's pretty cool. Like, in our case, I guess the jackals are basically maybe we're fighting angels or or something like that and got, got uh, basically got punished, you know? I, I, I'm kind of into that idea. Yeah, yeah, I can get way down. Ah, it's, it's, I, I love it. it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Where did we end up? Us, us, uh, poor, unfortunate demons. So, right, we're on Earth somewhere, I assume. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Why not? Let's, let's go for yeah. it. Um. All right. I have an idea. Uh, I think to 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 kind of really lean into the light hilarity of this what if they end up in like somewhere really beautiful and pastoral like uh montana like a montana-esque kind of area like rolling mountains and beautiful <laughs> beautiful plains like kind of a thing Big sky country so it's like beautiful hell for a demon they'll hate it yeah, it's absolutely <laughs> terrible for demons. It's like, yeah. ooh, okay. way too pretty here everything's awful i, I do have one brief question Sure. Do I need to know anything about real Montana? <laughs> I don't think so. Just picture, like, like I said, rolling plains and mountains and lots of green and forest. And like I said, just too pretty and yeah. very pretty. It's beautiful. I hate it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel as though I feel as though that that would be pretty good. All right. So we are we are demons expelled at, from hell, living as humans in a place like Montana. Cool. All right. I think what we uh, wait. I think I have something for this. Hold on. Give me. Give me just a second. I think I have something for this. Ah, yes, I do. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, now I know one more thing about Montana. Yeah. All right. Um, so I think the next thing that we have to do is we need to determine what is abundant in our community and what is scarce in our community. And I think that how that works is that. We, we each get to choose some sort of resource. And then after we've like decided on our resources, we can determine which of those resources are an abundance. We only get one. And then which mm -hmm. of them are scarcities. So one abundance, three scarcities. Cool. So uh, what what we thinking? It's, it's yeah. Montana. I, nature. I have an idea. 
Go, Randy, go. Okay, so we're, we were demons. We got put here, or we were here now. What if we were, there? one of the resources we look for is magic? Okay, yeah, yeah sure. So that way, like, either we have it or we don't. Like, you know, we need it for our society for some reason. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down for yep. magic. Why not? Let's do it. Um, uh, uh, I got, I, uh, um, I got something. It's not, like, really quite the same. But uh, <laughs> how about just like, uh, just like some fucking cows? Cows. Yeah, I'm here some fucking here for some fucking cows. Yeah, we could do that. Cows. cows. Move. <laughs> Fuck around with a cow and find out. <laughs> <laughs> I think we will. Yeah. All right. So we have magic. We have cows. Um, well, I I mean, going a little bit more with some of the realism like what you would actually find in montana i think i'm gonna go with just with grass okay yeah grass that that okay. makes sense you yeah. know just a regular old resource and i think i think just just because you know I, i'm also gonna go around the, like more mundane things uh everybody needs water to survive like we're we're, we're humans now without water we're we're pretty screwed i think um so yeah now i think we what we need to so we have Magic, cows, grass, and water. <laughs> All right. Great. One of these not, things is not, not like the other. And I love it. <laughs> so now we have to determine which of these four things is going to be our, our resource of abundance. Mm -hmm. What do we have a lot of for sure? I, I mean, we're drowning in cows, my dudes. Oh. Drowning in cows? <laughs> right. I, think, I mean, yeah. you're just drowning in cows. They're just everywhere. How many cows are you talking about? It's like nobody, nobody I in mean, our society has to say where's the beef. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I like it. All of the cats. It gives us, it, it gives us somewhere to go with this, right? Like, like obviously, if we're human, you know, we're gonna have to get some of that other stuff. But <laughs> so that means that um, magic, water, and grass are our scarcity. <laughs> Rot row. <laughs> this should be fine. Very fine. Be fine. Very fine. Fine. All right. Fine. Cool. Okay. So now what I think we get to do is we get to start drawing on our map some details oh, no. of what our society and our community looks like. Where the hell did we end up? Wait, wait, not that. That might be a hard, no. I can imagine some people saying things like, what the hell or where the hell are we is kind of a sensitive uh, a sensitive <laughs> turn of phrase for these guys. And they're probably like, don't How dare you. Me. How dare you. So yeah. So what do we think is, what do we think is in our community? Um, oh no, I, I feel like mountains is kind of, you know, just. Well, yeah, based on your background. <laughs> See, uh, let's draw some mountains. Mountains, mountains, mountains. mountains. Drawing some mountains on this map. Wee! Look at the mountains. I feel like we really should have practiced drawing on this thing more. Eh. <laughs> at all. Yeah. Or at all. We're, yeah. We're, we're doing it live. Fuck it. Fuck it. All right. So I got some mountains over here. They're pink mountains. For some I do reason. not see your mountains. Oh, I, maybe. Be yeah, I don't see. Yeah, um, I don't see them either. You know what? Don't worry about it. I'm on the GM layer. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to player. The what? Player. I know, right? Mm. Yeah. It is. Just wait. You mean we have to? We got to kill. We got to kill off. No GM. No, 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 no. <laughs> we got to do it. That's just what they call it when you're the one who made the when you made the game in the roll twenty. That's, that's all it means. I promise. Let me shuffle. This I screen. didn't name shuffle this screen, <laughs> but I'm following the rules. <laughs> Am I supposed to see them now? No, I, I, I'm doing something else right now before I before I join as a player. All right, give me just a second. Do do do. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, I think now we should be able to. See, I'm going to start drawing me some mountains, but I'm not going to do uh, anything this time. I'm going to do them in. Well, I mean, purple mountains, majesty, right? Let's do mm -hmm. some purple mountains. Can you see those? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. They are yeah. majestic. They're very beautiful. Very monta uh, oh, purple really mountains majesty. That's actually like my favorite patriotic hymn. It's a very pretty one. 
All right, I got mountains. Oh. All right. Cool. Oh, mm -hmm. I have something. Um, sure. Why don't the community we're living in, let's make it like a crater where like we had a great battle. So it's like the aftermath oh. of, of a big battle. Ooh, what if it's like, are we in the crater or it's just nearby? Like, I want us to like live or like be at least if, at the beginning to start there would be cool. And yeah. then like, oh, what, if it's a, what if it's a smite crater? Ooh, a smite like, crater. Oh, like the hand of that God. Red. That's going to be red. Like, <laughs> dropped us down. And right. Smite. Draw free hand. Let's try it. I believe in you. It is very dangerous that this game lets you just draw all over the place like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's our smite crater. I don't I know. That. Oh, no. Yeah. That's a, that is a giant crater. Giant crater. <laughs> I love it. I, I'm very proud of our smite crater. It's good. Yep. It's cool. All right. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Um, I'm an artist, you guys. <laughs> it's a perfect circle. Okay. I'm impressed. I would like to I would like to add something, please. Sure. Um, yeah. I'm gonna put it over in the corner up in here, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna add a uh, a rundown ranch house that may or may not be haunted. Ooh. We don't know, Ooh. but the rumors are, you know. So here we go. Let's that. see. I, I love that our demons are apparently f afraid of g g g g ghosts. I mean, we're yeah, humans ghosts. now, unfortunately. Yeah, and you know what? <laughs> if anybody's going to know that a place is possibly haunted or has ghosts, I feel like it would be demons. Yeah, the former demons, they would know. Yeah. And we know how fucked up ghosts are. Those guys are dicks. <laughs> <laughs> I would like you all to know that my house drawing skills uh, stopped improving in the second grade. I think that's true so, for just about everybody. Is... I know exactly what that is. All right. Uh, okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. Um, let's see if I can. What the? All right, balls. Hold on. Well, bear with me. This might work. This might not. Um, I was thinking of throwing in some nice uh, hot springs Ooh. to give us a, a relaxing mm -hmm. locale. I might try and smatter them around. Oh yeah, hey, look at that. Who does hot spring like hot there? Ooh, nice. That's an interesting, interesting. Uh, oh, I like this. Oh, then I'm off there. Ah, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chaos, chaos everywhere. Throw another one there. We're just like having a little onsen for you, for you cool kids who still live in Japan. Yeah, um, we're here for it. Like, I'm all about. it. You want to know what's the most shameful thing about my time in Japan? I was there for 12 years. Guess what I never did? One little secret. I never went to an onsen. Really? What? 12 years that I lived there because I never had I never had anyone to go with. I didn't want to go by myself. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Okay. It's cool. We have some up in the mountains. Hot springs. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I figured, beautiful. you know, Maybe we could have some nice secretive hot springs that, if anyone's looking for private funds. Secret hot springs. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. So we have our abandoned ranch. We have our smite crate. We have some hot springs. <laughs> we have some mountains. I feel it's pretty good about this. All right. I think from here, I uh, all we have left to do is is start. <laughs> is you know begin uh -oh. drawing cards. Uh, so oh, do we? Since I mean, I guess what we can do is we can go clockwise. We can start with me and then go Randy, Amanda, and Max. Does that does that feel good to everybody? Sounds great. Sounds great. Cool. All right. First week of spring, which is here. This is spring. All right. I have drawn my card. All right. I don't know if everybody can see that though. Let me put it on the table. Oh yeah. Yes. Ah. <laughs> I accidentally drew on it. No. <laughs> oh, right. Good call. I don't know how to erase things, so don't worry. It just it's happened. We'll turn it into a thing at some point. <laughs> All right. Spring. <clears throat> what's the most beautiful thing in the area or what's the most hideous thing in the area? I feel like this is an easy answer yeah. for the question. Yeah. Obviously the most hideous thing here are those beautiful fucking mountains. God, God made those, and they're awful and terrible. Uh, 
And I would like to throw my hat in the ring and say that if we have the time or a capability to destroy them, that would be probably for the best. Um, I mean, I'm for it. Whatever we can do to muck that up, down. Yeah. Okay. Awful. I made a note that. Awful yeah. mess. All right. There's agreement around that. And so I think we answer the question, and this, this is just from my understanding, we answer the question and then we choose an, uh, like we take down dice by one and then we do an action. Am I right? Like you yeah. choose one of the three actions? Yeah, we can either work on a project, discover something new, or I'm sorry, start a project, hold a discussion, or discover something new. Mm. Um, I think that I think that what I would like to do is um, I think I want to hold a discussion. I think that's generally what I kind of kicked off there anyway. So why don't we just go with that? Um, uh, because I think we are we are going to have a discussion about this here awful uh, situation that we're in. Hmm. I'm going to take the car back. Um, so <clears throat> do you think that we should be attempting to get back to hell? What order should we answer in? I think this can be in whatever order. I think it's fine. Okay. And this question is being posited by, I want to say, uh, maybe a slightly old, like middle-aged, uh, black presenting kind of male who is starting to bald. Um, he's he's pretty like big. He looks like somebody who's maybe like farmed or ranched his whole life. Um, fairly weathered features, um, but his voice is very deep and low. And uh, he's he's kind of become sort of a de facto leader in the group, mostly because he's really big and nobody wants to mess with him. So, but yeah, he's like, he's like, so uh, should we be trying to get back to hell? Is, is that something that we, we want to be trying to do? I mean, yeah. Like you just, you see this, uh, this like maybe like 12 year old girl stand up to speak. Uh, and it's just like, I am a thousand years old. Look at me right now. I don't want to be here. We have to go home. Look at these tiny hands. They're pretty disgusting. Yeah, it's not natural. I wish for my powers back. Having to do things manually sucks. <laughs> you see this sort of big guy who obviously has been in a couple of fights. Um, he is is sort of really sweaty right now, which he doesn't like. <laughs> you should probably see a doctor about that. Ugh, doctors. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying here is that You've been living too easy for too long. Maybe it's time you got your tiny little hands on some tiny little human souls and started doing the real work. I am like a very tall and kind of put together like Hollywood doctor type looking guy. <laughs> and it is very, very incongruous with the landscape we're in. I have beautiful soft skin and will not do any manual labor. <laughs> but you all should. Let me tell you, I think you're lazy as hell. All right. Is it my turn? Uh, or yeah, uh, I think you've you've spoken your piece. It's actually mine. I oh, I, I, I I started with a question, which means I get to end this discussion. Right. Um. Let's see. So basically, what we're more or less deciding is that yes. Our, our, we are determined to somehow get back to hell. Great. How do we do that? Ugh. Well, I don't know. I'd say get yourself a shovel and start digging down. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that sounds like a great idea. <clears throat> 
how, how, y'all, I mean, we were all how, there how, when the world got created. We know what's in the middle of this place. Ooh, I am so sick of looking at cows. I don't know. They're kind of Let's cute. I bet they taste delicious. <laughs> oh. I just can't catch them with these tiny hands. <laughs> Interesting. The giant hands you used to have. <laughs> How big they must have been. I mean, very big. My job was a lot of crushing and throwing. You need big hands for that, okay? Can we just move on, please? Sorry about that. Look. Hi. Whose turn is it? Yep. Buster's turn. Go, Buster. <laughs> it's Me? your turn, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so I'm spring. Buster now. I like yeah, it. So spring, yeah, spring is three <laughs> three decks down. So oh, okay. just yeah. Yeah, draw, draw a card, and then when you have it in your hand, pull it out of your hand to place it on the board for all of us to see. Got it. Okay. Then pull it here. Cool. So... An old piece of machinery is discovered broken, but perhaps repairable. What is it? What would it be useful for? Or an old piece of machinery is discovered, cursed, and dangerous. How does the community destroy it? Oh, oh, I, I know exactly what this is. Um, so it is a weird cursed Let's see. It's a cursed symbol of uh, the beliefs that the people here had. It's a cross <gasps> and <laughs> we must destroy it. Uh, how do we destroy it? Uh, we try to burn it. <laughs> so it's oh, a no. curse. <laughs> and by cur cursed, I mean it's blessed, but. <laughs> oh God. Um. Should we draw it on the map somewhere? Is it yeah, like yeah? Is it like where, where did we where did we find it? I I hmm. feel like the old abandoned the old abandoned ranch is probably the perfect place to have found this uh this cursed oh yes object. This is yeah. an awful thing. All right. Oh, that's that's too close to the color of the ranch. I will I will use pink. Maybe you can see it. Pink. Uh, all right. I'm so scared to draw. Oh, you can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> try, a... Probably try brighter colors. Okay. Or more yeah. ones. There we go. <laughs> this is so hard to do. I oh, love you're, it. you're doing a great job. Oh, hang oh, on. God. That's perfect. Wait, right. I want to put little, like, shine. Oh, no. I know. It's, it's you hard. made it more powerful. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. So what I want to choose for um, a oh, project. And, uh, and then just, oh. just as a, a pro tip, uh, once yep. you've shown the card, you right click it, and then you can oh. take the card and put it back in your hand. Pro okay. tips. <laughs> uh, so yeah, <laughs> what I want to do then is for a, a, a start a project because it, I don't know if we have a place to sleep. Ooh. In our demon village, so I think we should, uh, unfortunately, try to build some housing for us. Who do we want to assign that work to? There, there's like a, a oh, you know that one group of demons that came back and turned into a family, just like uh -oh. everyone knows them. I feel like we should have them do it. Like if there's anybody that's going to be like supremely motivated to have a place to live, as far as I know, based on my human studies from tormenting and torturing them over the millennia is that they like homes. Yeah. I don't really understand it. It's like, yeah. Wait, it's all the so same air. This is just an easier box to kill you. In. Are we just like assimilating? Is that what's happening here? Because. No. No, I just think it's nicer than staying outside. <laughs> I, I mean, we come from fire and brimstone. You want to hide inside 
like this little hut over here. It's cold. I don't know. There's no fire here anymore. It, it's cold <laughs> at night. There's no fire in here. Look. Fine, I guess. Like, I don't have to do it. If you guys want to light that family on fire, I mean, we could use them to stay warm, but I think that's a temporary solution. Yeah, it never lasts as long as you'd like it that's to. That's what I'm saying. Well, I guess, like, how long do we think it'll take? Like, 12 weeks? I don't know how long it takes to build a thing to live in. Uh, I have no idea. Well, but yes. We're putting a whole family to it. I mean, remember those Amish people whose I mean, like how many souls we, we ate? Everything like. I mean, I'm sure a few of us could like double and bunk up, like probably just enough to house all of us. Like, how many people can you fit inside a house? Like, fifty. I feel like fifty is a decent. I don't know. I guess it depends on how big the house is. But what? Like maybe three weeks to build them all. What do we think? Yeah, I'd say three weeks sounds reasonable. Yeah. You know. All right, I'm gonna write it down. And until then, we Where can do we sleep wanna... inside these cows. I don't think that. I mean, eh, we'd all get very, very bloody. That'd be kind of cool. Kind of into that. Right. But where, where, where exactly do we want to build these houses? Um. Maybe. Maybe between maybe down and below the mountains next to the pit, you know, just in case people try and come after us in the dark, they'll just like fall in the hole. So yeah. And then helps. we'll just be like sleeping. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and draw, uh, let's let uh, Buster here. We've determined that we're going to, to build these homes just, just south of the mountains and uh, west of the smite crater so if you want to like put a little marker there and write the number three next to it we think it's probably going to take about three weeks to do this um, yeah i think and three works good too bad this human world has these stupid internet limitations let me tell you about the infernal web <laughs> <laughs> Uh, while while Randy's doing that, I actually want to mention something that I forgot to mention at the very top of this, which is uh, our subscriber unlocks and benefits and stuff like that. We yeah. are indeed doing what we're calling a message in a bottle. For fifteen dollars, you can uh, fifteen dollar donations. You can fifteen dollar donations or gifting five subs can give you the opportunity to send us a message in a bottle. Um, and then we have our subscribe uh, subscriber unlocks and tiers. So. Uh, the way that this is going to work is that usually for a saving throw show, you get to uh, unlock like certain things that will influence the game, but we're doing things a little bit differently, mostly because of the way these games are run. Um, what is instead going to happen is that we have a larger long-term goal where if you donate up to $1,000 over the span of this eight episodes, you will be able to unlock an extra episode of All Games No Masters. Or if we average 200, uh, 400 subs over the span of eight episodes, you can get that extra episode. So it's 400 subs or $1,000. So uh, pick your poison. But yeah, there is a way to get an extra episode of this show. Uh, and I would love to see you do it. Let's yeah. see you try. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. All right. So I build houses or some, no, I made the, the family build this house. They're working on it, um, but they're they're small and red because I want them to remind us of home. Aw, aw, adorable. All right. Okay. Is it so me now? It's my turn. Reads. All right. I'm gonna draw this card. We're okay, gonna put the see. three marker on that, so that one is three. Okay. Oh. Ah, I see. I see. Check it down. Oh no. <laughs> <coughs> there we go. So, there's another community somewhere on the map. Where are they? What sets them apart from you? Or what belief or practice helps unify your community? So, um, I'm going to say that while the uh, the exploration group 
uh, which is made up mostly of demons that were turned into like people who look like fitness is their main job, you know? Um, so we <laughs> sent them out to kind of canvas the mountains and they discovered that a, uh, a, another human community lives on the other side of the mountains, but they're human human, not demon human. And therefore um, they are terrible and probably need to be destroyed. But until we get up and running, it's probably best just to like let them do their human thing um, and try not to let it get too close because I would vomit. So no. they're, they're over here, um, even though they matter not even a little bit. So I don't know why I'm putting them on this map, but I guess you should just have for seen funsies. Them. It was a whole swarm of them stinky, stinky humans. I didn't know what to do. I got so scared I could run back over the mountains right to you guys. That was just how I had to, I had to do it. It was real, real bad. They were, they were, they were, they were eating food and 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 bathing and and shopping my giant people. and and like doing doing human stuff. It was horrific. And we couldn't even like tempt them or torture them or capture them or kill them. Couldn't do any of that fun stuff we used to be able to do because our magic doesn't work. Oh, uh, I let me tell you, these people are too happy. There they are. Um, I'm gonna take. <laughs> just a right click. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna take this down to two. I don't know how to do that. I'll just oh. cross it out, like cross it out, and then just I, actually I'll do it. Don't worry about it. I got you for it. Um. So. Uh. Well, I kind of already did discover something new. So. I am also gonna start a project. Um. Since. Uh, this house is just run down and kind of useless, um, but it is made of like wood and a little bit of metal in diff in some places because it's. So I'm gonna have a, a crew come in and uh, tear the rest of it apart so that we can use the pieces to, you know, potentially make useful items like I don't know, um, like clubs and shivs. Um, Yes. Maybe a rat. Maybe a rat. I mean, we oh. used to fight all the time. <laughs> Those. So, I think to clear the whole thing is probably not going to take super long, right? I mean, maybe like a week, maybe two. I, I would, yeah, I think a week or two is incredibly reasonable. Well, you know, right. from the perspective of the construction crew and the carpentry team, you know, who were the bone carvers back in hell. I would say that mm -hmm. they're like, mm -hmm. they know what they're doing. They know how to like whittle real nice. They don't have any lathes around, but like, yes, I would say a week or two is incredibly reasonable for the bone carving. I mean, team. even if we Some have to gnaw together. on the bones with our teeth, we can make it happen. We can do this for you. No, have you seen these teeth? Oh. Where, where are the sharp oh, ones? They don't yeah. do where anything cool. Yeah. No. yeah. I can't and unhinge my jaw. It's true. And I keep getting these weird rumbly things happening in this middle section of my body, and I don't know what to do about that either. Mm. All right. All right, two. Okay, there. I'm done. All right. So let's see. Okay. I'm going to draw a card. One card. Let's see. There is a disquieting legend about this place. What is it? Or alarming weather patterns destroy something. How and what? Oh, criminy. All right. There's a disquieting legend about this place. What is it? Or alarming weather patterns. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with a disquieting legend. All right. Legend has it that this place, and I need you guys to bear with me. Everyone needs to, you know, sit down. This used to be Holy Land. 
No. I know. I know. And I think that until we are able to possibly fully desecrate this entire place, we might not get back to hell at all. Now that is a very strong thing to suggest, and I am... Our I good... Cry. Our good Father Satan would not abandon us up here. They just wouldn't. They wouldn't do that to us. Wouldn't they? I mean, think about all of the things. Would you abandon me up here? Yes. If it meant going home, I would. I was always the expendable one in my family. So wait, we need to desecrate it. Behind so many times. We need to desecrate this whole place. The whole like how place. much of it? Like all, like like miles. But, but it's so big. I know. I mean, I guess we could send the twins. They they they're like the desecrator. They're the best oh. at desecration. Their desecrations are so nasty. But how can so they do it without magic? <sighs> oh. Well, yeah. I mean, Everybody's got different ways that they like to do things, and we are adaptable, aren't we? Mm, yes, we are. We are very highly adaptable. <laughs> this is going to be fun. We'll come back to you with a plan, we promise. <laughs> and, like, you can see, right. like, they're probably, like, six or seven-year-old, like, like, uh, like, little, little twins. Uh, they probably wear like you know cut off sh- like denim shorts and like t-shirts and you know <laughs> have like, messy hair that's like all over the place and like they're 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 tiny but they've got like wild eyes and like they don't look like anybody has been taking care of them since we got here and they're just so dirty he's just been rolling around in muck and mud and just doing whatever Being- I like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah this is very good okay uh uh, okay, so I need to either start a project, discover something, or hold a discussion. Um, yeah. I I think I would like to discover um, something. Sure. Uh, which is a... Uh, well, we've got cows in abundance, but we haven't quite shown them. So what I'm going to... I'd like to discover um, near the ranch... A, a large swath of fenced in land, which is where the cows have been roaming wild. And, uh, are and they, I would say- Are they home on the range? <laughs> they're ex- that's exactly what they're doing. They're very home on the range. They're, the hit film, Home on the Range. It's actually a um, really good film. I've never seen it. I shouldn't be making fun. Um, okay, let's see if this works. Yeah, Max, draw a bunch of cows right now. I'm on it. Oh, yeah, we should go ahead. I think that when that last scene ended, we needed to knock down the marker to one. Yeah. Yeah. So this is. And the one on the ranch as well. Mm -hmm. Add it. <laughs> it's a spotted dog. <laughs> you hush. Cow? It's, it's, it needs horns. Where are the poor cow's horns? Uh, there, there we well, go. If it has horns, then eating it is more complicated. I think there's a way that you're supposed to take the horns off of it, perhaps. I don't know. Maybe maybe what we can do is we can send a scouting party back to the human settlement on the other side of the mountains to have them observe how eating works. Because I'm starting to think that this uncomf- discomfort in my middle is my body telling me I need to consume food. Well, there's, there's just oh. a bunch of cows. <gasps> exactly. But like, again, nothing, no stabby stabs. Yeah, tiny, like, like tiny little frail old man. Like, so, like, 
I'll tell you something. You could eat the cows, but everybody here remembers. People are the most delicious meat in existence. And they're right over there. So sure, go eat a cow, but I'm gonna go eat a, uh, eat a, eat a people. Finally, we I found the game where Max can unleash the true cannibal within. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the joke I'm not going to make right now because. because. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. It's going to, going to, going to army hammer all over this bitch. <laughs> we keep our cannibalism respectable. Yeah. <laughs> the well, other I mean, white. <laughs> I mean, you do, okay. you do have a point. You do have a point there. Uh, uh, Old gray. I, I think. I think old, gray. old gray. Well, uh, I don't know. I, I guess we'll see how it goes, but I feel like immediately attacking and trying to eat the other humans might alarm anybody else in the area before we have a chance to win them over with our shining, stunning personalities. That's great. I've got an idea, says this, this old very frail looking man. What if we fed we so the Yeah, yeah, it's what happens when you transform into a human. What if what if we gave the humans some cows to eat? Plump them up. I mean maybe. I and mean then we're hiding in the cows. Jump out. <gasps> yeah. Oh, that would be a <laughs> wonderful trick, old gray. But old just, gray, just old like gray. young gray over young here. Gray. <laughs> old gray, young gray, love it. I think we have much to do though before then. Well, it's a, it's an ongoing one. Fair enough. I believe it is my turn again. All right. Um. And have we finished the uh, the houses I, or those? Down? No, we took. We took yours down for you. Oh, so great. Oh, okay. Thank you. Finish with, uh, they'll both actually finish with Aki. All right. Uh, next one. You see a good omen. What is it? You see a bad omen. What is it? Ooh. I think we have like a, uh, I think we're going to have a stroke of good luck here and we're going to see something good. Like, I think what happens is one day, uh, one of our like teenage age, like maybe like 16 or 17 uh, young people from our community is out maybe foraging or something like that or poking around or, you know, bullshitting about because that's what you, teenagers do. And so cool. uh, they're they're around the crater and from the crater they see like steam rising from it. Like, and they they run back to the council really, really excited. Um, they're like, I have seen the signs of hell coming from the crater, steam and heat forming from the uh, forming from the loam i i think it's a sign a sign of what perhaps we are we are not so disfavored as we thought perhaps perhaps our <laughs> our, our good uh, and loving uh, father satan uh, knows of our plight and is coming coming to 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 help us i mean that would be nice i believe it when i see it yeah you bring me this steam and heat and i'll believe it then <laughs> see how it is, is that is that the, is that the good doctor yeah yeah. Yeah. So, so, so this several is definitely of named the Chad. 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 <laughs> several of the Chad. female Chad presenting. Several of the female presenting demons are. They definitely have the vapors over <laughs> over Chad over here. <laughs> Chad Buster. They're like. They're like Beauty and the Beast, like 
blonde girling like over in the corner. Uh, yeah, sure. No, yeah, he's a real guest on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yes. I look amazing. <laughs> So I think I want to start a project as well. Um, oh, you get to tell us how the project's finished, though, Aki. Oh, I oh, see. Yes. I do, I do indeed. All right, so the houses are, I don't know how to say this. I don't think that the family quite understood what we were talking about when we said homes. I mean, they are clo enclosed structures with with roofs uh, and with doors and stuff like that. Like, it's not like it's not functional, but I don't think that more than maybe, like, it, they look a li little bit more like outhouses than actual homes. Um, just Lots and lots of like outhouse looking places that like you can't even lie down in. Um, you can you can sit and you can you can uh, certainly chill, uh, but there is just a lot of out outhouse sized structures that have been built. Great. Well, I mean, listen, I've been able to sleep standing up since I was eight hundred and fifty four. I'm not worried. This is fine. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank yous are thank yous are for wusses. So this one's mine. And then as far as the weapons and stuff goes, it's very obvious that we know what we're doing here. These are <laughs> these are like really nice weapons. They've obviously been made out of like very fine pieces of wood that have been sharpened into like the finest points, like old discarded cow bones or animal bones have been like, sh like, like beautiful, beautiful weaponry. Like these are artisan level tools happening here. Like these demons knew what the fuck they were doing and made some really high quality stuff. The project I want to start is a hunting party, like training a hunting party, like, because none of us have ever actually had to hunt and track in the like these forms, like very different from being human. So I think I think what uh, what I want to do is actually like the, the the project that I'm starting is actually tracking down food for us, like training and actually tracking down sustenance in whatever form that ends up being, whether it's the cows, whether it's like we go up into the woods and we find some wild animals or whatever, just like, yeah, I don't know how long we think that's going to take. Like, I don't think it's going to take long, but maybe, maybe I need to learn. learn. Yeah. I feel to like learn how to. Oh. No, go. What, what, up? what's up, Maximilian? Oh, I was going to say that if anyone's going to be really good at just like wanton murder and hunting, like the teenagers are like ah, we could just get <laughs> real Lord of, Lord of the flies with our kids yes yeah. all right so we get together like a, a clutch of, of young people teach them how to teach them how to murderize how long do we think that'll take oh they already know how to do that it's just I about know. practical application fair fair getting them to use all of their senses without magic that's the real Ooh, challenge. I feel right like there. that's going to take a bit. I feel like that'll take a bit to learn how to not rely on that stuff. Like, I don't know. I want to say four, but that may, might I, be too many. Well, I actually think I that four, it was, that's exactly yeah. what I was going to say too. I think four weeks, four weeks okay. of hunting training. Um, I am going With to- With the youngins. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say that they train like down, uh, they train close to the smite crater. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't actually know what I'm drawing here. A little sword. It is where we sold the sign. <laughs> yes, they they as a as a way of like claiming the power of the steam for themselves, they uh they train <laughs> <laughs> they train near the smite crater. I <laughs> like this is swords. It's like they're like having like visions. They go and like inhale the steam and they're like, yes, <laughs> yes. We must go into the wilderness and get blood. 
Four. Oh, you already did it. Oh, either way works. We have two numbers and it works. All right. Nobody's going to forget that that's Okay. It. I can delete mine. I will grab uh, the next card then. Do you bum, 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 bum. Ooh, I grabbed two. So I will <laughs> Is there a way to. Oh, wait. No, that's it's just. just no. It's the just other that's one. That's the one that you I already had. had. Yeah. yeah. You have two in your hand right now. You yeah. So what it says is, let's see. Uh, it says, there's a large body of water on the map. Where is it? What does it look like? Or, or there's a giant man-made structure on the map. Where is it? Why is it abandoned? Okay. Huh. Let's see. I want... A large man-made structure on the map. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I know what it is. It's going to be. Oh, why do I think I know what you're about to say? I don't know if you know what I'm going to say, because I, I didn't even know what I was going to say at first. You said that in a way that made me afraid of it. No, yeah. I mean, no, it's it's a giant man-made structure. Where is it? Why was it abandoned? It's not too far from the ranch. And the cursed symbol, it is a cemetery. Oh, wow. and, it, and it was wow. abandoned because the dead had begun to rise there. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, it sounds that's great for us. News. <laughs> Do you and think we could somehow uh, convince them to start rising again? But to what end? Well, well, I say we have a discussion about it. So, oh yes, let's hold a discussion. Some of us think we should be tr focusing on training people. Some of us think this. I believe we should send some people to the cemetery to figure out where they have garnered the power to raise the dead. What do you think? Sorry, come again? You want us to, what are? We need to figure out how the dead are rising there so we can harness it for ourselves. Hmm. I see, what, I see, I see. Should we, or should we focus on training these younglings? Well, look, here's the deal. Here's my opinion on this whole thing. Oh. Those kids, those kids are going to go and they're going to, Patrick Warburton now, whatever. Those kids, <laughs> those kids are going to go and they're going to kill whatever they can kill. They're high as kites off weird smite crater steam. They're all goo goo eyed running around just covered in blood. Not even worried about those kids. These ghosts, on the other hand, these ghosts could be real handy. Pushing through a mountain, scare a bunch of people, feed the people right to us. Pushing through a cow. Pulling out the other side of a cow. Hilarious. Ghost on both sides of a cow. Everything about it sounds amazing. It does. Your your mind is truly something to behold, Chad. Just truly something to behold. That's why we love them. Thanks. Oh! <laughs> Please, man, you just love your super oh. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I just, I think that like the ghosts are going to be there no matter what, you know, like they're not going anywhere because they're way dead, like super dead. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just don't see any urgency there. I think it would be a much better idea to like learn how to, to learn how to stab with these tiny human hands. Um, and, you know, maybe they can also try like chomping too, because we're gonna like stick your teeth into something and like, you know, tear out a good piece of it for lunch. Gonna need some ex some work. So that's just my opinion, I guess. You don't have to listen to it. I mean, I don't disagree that maybe Chad's plan is overly complicated and deeply convoluted, Whoa. but it's also very fun. That's deeply the only part I understood. 
like fucked it. up and fun. And it's been a while since I've gotten to do anything even resembling horrific and terrible. And I'm starting to feel a little bit too, I don't know, human. And it's kind of disgusting. It is absolutely horrendous. It's really I would have disgusting. To with you, Chad. It's Yesterday I ate these these bulbous things. I believe they're called mushrooms, and made myself incredibly ill on them. And then I think I also hallucinated, which was strange. Oh, well, I mean, that kind of sounds fun. The hallucinating part was was fine. The being ill, the violently ill afterwards. I mean, it also wasn't that bad, but my my human body didn't appreciate it. Wait, where are they? Because we should totally pull some and make the actual humans ill. <laughs> I'll show you later. Oh, oh yeah, okay, that's a great idea. We should eat them and then throw up, and then we should feed it to the humans and make them throw up, and then everybody's throwing up, and it's a mess. That's delightfully gross. That's what I'm saying. All right, all right. So, so discussion, fine. Cool. All right, we're gonna do the thing. We're gonna wait. Which one are we gonna do though? Like, you don't. You I guess don't, it was two to one. You don't decide. You just have the discussion. Is how yeah. I understand the rules. Yep, you just have the discussion. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that being said, All right, this so is probably one of those places where like the contempt the contempt uh would be in in uh in play, mm -hmm. like considering that oh. there was no agreement of any kind or consensus, right. like this was this would be something that you could use contempt for. And uh let me let me read over the contempt rules really fast. Uh if you ever feel like you weren't consulted or honored in the decision making process, you can take a piece of contempt and place it in front of you. This is your outlet for expressing disagreement or tension. If someone starts a project that you don't agree with, you don't get a voice your, to voice your objections or speak out of turn. You are instead invited to take a piece of contempt. Contempt will generally remain in front of the players until the end of the game. Um, uh, it will act as a reminder of past contentions. Its primary role is as a social signifier. In addition, you can discard it back to the center of the table in two ways, by acting selfishly and by diffusing tensions. If you ever want to act selfishly to the known detriment of the community, you can discard the contempt token to justify your behavior. You decide whether your behavior uh, requires justification. This will often trigger others taking contempt tokens in response. If someone else does something that you greatly support, that would mend relationships and rebuild trust, and you can discard a contempt token to demonstrate that they have diffused past tensions. Okay. Okay. So we don't give them to people. We take them and we're like, contempt. Blah. Yeah, it's just like a signifier. <laughs> just like yeah, a... It. I don't think it actually uh, mechanically, specifically does something, except... Yeah. Except shows okay. that I'm mad at you. <laughs> but hey, hey Aki, I forget yeah. was the was the training was that you or was that? Oh, uh, the training was me, and we need to knock that down. I think by yeah. two. Yeah. to three, yeah. or down to three. Yes, it needs to go down because then I'll. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Yep. The thing you know. the GM. <laughs> oh, sorry. There's a lot more impetus on you to keep uh, to a. Uh, Keep For up with sure. going on. But that's Let's both see. the good and the, and, and the, the delightful about this particular. Uh... So, where does everyone sleep? Who isn't happy with this arrangement and why? I mean, we kind of already dealt with that. Uh, what natural predators roam this area? Are you safe? I like that. Um, Okay, so the fucking cats. <laughs> yeah, oh I, <laughs> this is Montana, so I think that there are definitely bears. Uh, there are bears and there are wolves. Uh, Not lions, probably. And there are there are I think lynxes. I actually I actually Wikipedia'd Montana <laughs> earlier today just so I could be like, what is there? Definitely bears, definitely wolves, some lynxes. 
like lots of stuff. So um, like they are wild. all present. Yeah, they're all present, particularly about the mountainous region. Um, so everyone in the hunting party and anybody who goes in there has been advised that because of our uh, current mortal meat sack nature, it uh, one should be very careful um, when they are traversing the mountains. However, we feel pretty safe uh, at, in our community at, because despite only having tiny hands, we absolutely know how to destroy things. Yes. Yeah. I am not concerned. Um, you're quite safe. Yes, I am not concerned either. Come and get us, bear. Oh, that's so lame. Uh, bears, what, a bear? wolves. Ugh. So we only have the one project. Sucks. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, wow. I love the teens. <laughs> I think the best. Whatever, man. I feel like uh, I could take a can list. someone else take this down to two for me so I can do the, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the rest Go of the it. turn. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to discover something new. Uh, so we sent, basically this is a lot of exploration for us, right? Trying to figure out how to survive, get all the things that we need before we start going like pillaging and murdering and desecrating. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna say that um, the little 12 year old girl, her name is Felicia. Felicia. Um, Felicia. That Felicia was, uh, was very mad that she was made fun of by some of the older demons for being so wee. Uh, and had a human temper tantrum, which she was not particularly happy about because demons don't have temper tantrums. But anyway, she stomps over there. She's really mad. And she uh, stumbles oh, stumbles into, actually, behind where the ranch house used to be is like um, like a cellar, like a freestanding like cellar uh, with, a, with a door that's uh, been long since gone. Um, so there's something down there for sure. Uh, not quite sure necessarily what it is yet. Uh, because actually, uh, when Felicia was there and she was about to go down into the dark, she, she kind of got scared. Like, Whoa. and it was also very upsetting. It's just very upsetting all around to be Felicia right now. So she ran back to the community to let them all know this is what she had found and that and to wonder what we're going to do next. Wait, are are we starting to are we starting to feel human emotions? Is oh my it, gosh. Is, is that a thing that's happening? Oh. Uh, I, I feel something in my chest. It's moving and it's going really fast. I don't what like did it. You eat? I didn't eat anything. We haven't had any humans, but ah, it won't stop. Well, maybe you should eat something. Down in yeah. the hall. There, there, there are some, those are, there, there are still some of those mushrooms. They... Oh, yeah. I feel like there's a way that they're supposed to be properly prepared, but there's that thing that humans do. Can't remember. I think I'm done. I think that's it for me. Cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. So let's see. Racker. I love that we like this. This poor community is probably subsisting off things like eating the the random like things they see. Like somebody probably tried grass at some point, and somebody tried like this, or they tried that, and just been one randomly picking up whatever and and eating it. <laughs> I can I say that out of all of the things, it was not grass because grass is in scarcity. Oh it's yeah, it's fair. <laughs> oh yeah, I've just been eating a lot of dirt. Yeah, yeah, that's what, <laughs> I, that's what I imagined it still a lie. It tastes horrible. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, a charismatic young girl convinces many to help her with an elaborate scheme. What is it? Who joins her endeavors? Start a project for a fun. 
Or a charismatic young girl tries to tempt many into sinful or dangerous activity. Well, that seems easy. Uh, <laughs> why does she do this? Uh, how does the community respond? Oh, okay. No, I have an idea. All right, we're going to do the second one. A charismatic young girl tries to tempt many into sinful or dangerous activity. Um, so in early one morning, as we're all groggy and stepping out of our outhouses, <laughs> <laughs> we turn to see this very like put together kind of like clean perfect peppy little girl maybe 14 or 15 like summer dress although it's spring so spring dress an old picnic basket she's like hi there everybody my name's Norm Jean, and it's so good to have new neighbors. I'm from the other town over by the other side of the mountain there. And let me tell you something. We've just been gabbing about you like a bunch of hyenas around a corpse. You know what I'm saying? Just yak, 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 yak. But I Why wanted to come here talking? and visit. Oh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly why. My mama and daddy, they sent me over here because... This land, this land has seen a very difficult time in the past. You see, there's not a lot of, not a lot of water. There's not a lot of, not a lot of grass. You know, you can't grow much here. But what we do have in abundance is faith in the Lord. And I was wondering if all you lovely people had, had any interest in coming with us to our town and maybe joining us in, you know, some really wonderful, worshipful kind of ceremonies. I also brought biscuits. So if any of y'all are hungry, maybe, you know, you could accept the Lord and eat a little bit of food so you don't starve and die. There are a... Uh... I'm sure there are a decent number in the crowd who are hissing and <laughs> trying to like I, I would say that's a, Yeah, I would say it's a fairly even split. Like there's the hissing crowd and then there's, oh, we're so hungry and all we've eaten is a dirt crowd. It's just at, like, a, at a certain point in the middle of the of the of the monologue, Norma Jean just kind of looks down, I think, at her uh leg, and there's just a small demon child gnawing on it. Just like <laughs> Oh, well, are you just absolutely adorable there? What's your Hi. name, tiny child? Oh, I'm supposed to have one of those, aren't I? Um, oh, wow. well, Georgina. Georgina. What are you doing? Why um, are you talking to this young lady? Hungry. Well, see, Georgina. Here, you know what? You're too young to understand that your soul would be absolutely damned to hell forever and burning in a river of fire. But she is very happy about that. Thank oh, you very oh, much. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, two questions. What what is why is a soul necessary? And also, mm -hmm. hell is great. Okay, the second one wasn't really a question, Georgina, but I will answer the first one. Here, first of all, biscuit for you. There you go. You boop you on the nose there. You're adorable. Please stop eating the leg. The biscuits for eating, darling. Why is the soul necessary? Because the Lord on high, he reached down into every one of us. He's very, very uh, careful. And uh, he's very um, focused. And he put a little droplet of himself in each of us. And that's a soul. So if you want a connection to the Lord and a reason to be in this world, you need one of those. Why? Uh, Georgina, we're leaving. Well, it's so nice meeting you. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye, Georgina. You know, if you ever want to leave your... Wretched family, we'd be happy to take you in and feed you. 
and yeah, uh, I so think you she's don't got eight legs. She's uh, she perks up actually a little bit, and she uh, because she's maybe like six or mm -hmm. something, and she just kind of looks over at um, I don't think we named him, but the um, the leader yeah, we Aki that oh, yet created. Um, um how Give about... me a name. What, what we gonna name him? Um, uh, but uh, Roger. 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 Yeah, that's Roger. Roger's fine. Oh, Mr. Roger. She just kind of glances over at Roger and then back it and like is like, uh-huh. And then over at Norma Jean and it's like, can I come with you? Yeah, so I like biscuits. You come right with me there, darling. You just take my hand. Hey. We'll just go back to the ball. Okay. I'm just gonna and leave just you. Uh I think that there is a small group of people, maybe four or five, who have all just been staring very longingly at those biscuits. They're so hungry. And they they kind of, as Norma Jean starts to walk away, like almost as if they're being led by their noses, they just kind of start wandering in that direction, just like following her. Um, yeah, they're they're hungry. They can't help it. And, and you see Roger in the back with his arms crossed over his chest and he's kind of glowering at them as they go. I don't think this came across, but Georgina is going to be a mole. She's going to, to get intel. She's yeah. not going to give up. Gina. Oh, no, no. Her mole did not understand that. <laughs> uh, well. And of course, there are a couple of people emboldened by Georgina going who are so hungry they're not thinking straight. They're just like, I guess I guess we're going over here. I guess we're going to get ourselves some food. So there are some actual traders mixed up in that group as well. Great. Boom. <laughs> Norma Jean is just like all of that. She's like, you get a basket, you get a basket. Oh, look at you. What are you trying to do? Did you try to carve Bye. your teeth in the little fangs? That's adorable. And they just head Bye. back. Bye. Don't come back too soon. Bye. Bye. Okay. She'll take your followers over the mountain. Um, I guess. That was, that was delightful. <laughs> yeah, it was a, a brilliant. <laughs> All right. Well, so. now we've got problems. Um, All right, so okay, so I, I can I can propose a project. I'm gonna I'm gonna propose a project that um that there is a um, a subset of people from the previous discussion who were interested in in trying to raise the ghosts and and figure out what they could do with the ghosts, and so uh, Chad and Chad's groupies and a couple other cool people uh, have decided to go over to the graveyard and try and, and start um, figuring out what, what they could do in a possibly non-magical sense, since obviously like old school they used to be able to put ghosts up now, but now they have to kind of do some negotiating. So they're gonna try and raise the debt. Cool. How long do we think that that's going to take? Like Roger is like sitting in the back, kind of. He he gets he gets progressively grumpier with each passing week. Just like, and how long do we think that's going to take raising the dead? I mean, I feel like that's a like long term thing. I feel like that might be like a six weeker. Right. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Like yeah, six weeks, two, month, two month kind of thing. Sure. Communicate with them right now. Because so. mm. they have to decide they want to communicate with us too, right? Like, right. yeah, got to endear ourselves to some fucking ghosts. God, is this where we've? Is this is this how uh, far we've we've sunken? How low we've gone? Uh, I always like going lower, says Buster. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you do. I think Buster's you got, got a it. six. Yeah, six. And then I, I think that, uh, yeah, I think it should, it's my turn now. Yes. Which means I get to explain, uh, how this, this project completed, uh, training of the youngins. Um, oh, yeah. so I think that we ended up with a couple of them, a couple of them died. They accidentally <laughs> got a little bit too, too excited with training during when they were training with each other. And we had we had a few accidental deaths, 
Um, but they've all proven to be very adept with their weapons. And a few of them are even starting to pick up like trails and tracks of animals have started to determine like the difference between a few of them. And uh, just the other day, they finally managed to kill a bear. So there is now a big old bar uh, in town, but nobody has figured out what to do with it now that it's dead. So <laughs> next steps. Throw you it in the pit and set it on fire? Yeah, I feel hey. like that's the, Do we need to take the this furry stuff off of it first, though? Hmm. Nice. Uh, actually, I tried to bite some of the the bear earlier. It's not very good. It's very fuzzy. You have to flay it first. You have to flay it first. If you think about it in terms of home, I think that will help. So, you know, I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a flayer. Um, I'm, I'm more of a blunted uh, instrument type I think, of demon. I feel like we have uh, somebody, uh, 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 a guy named, uh, I want to say his name is uh, Jack or something like that. There's a guy named Jack who's really good at flaying. Uh oh. Hang it. <laughs> call Jack. Jack the Flayer, we call him yeah. back at home. Um, forth. He loves to flay. Flay all, all right. day, baby. Someone new arrives who or two of the community's younger members get into a fight. What provoked them? Oh. I think this is easy. So we finally figure out how to flay the bear. We finally throw it in a pit full of fire. Everyone is so hungry that two of the kids start to get in a fight over who is getting the bigger portion served to them. Like we've been doling out pieces of bear to people. Everybody's finally getting some food, and bear, like real food and not just these gross plant things that we're finding all over the place, but actual sustenance. And these two kids are so hungry that they just... They just have a full on like scrap in front of the of the roast bear. Everybody cheers and you know is is, is much amused by this um, ridiculous. It's a Tuesday in hell. <laughs> it's like, hey, we're getting back to our roots. This this feels healthy. I'll set you on fire. No, I'll set you I'll on fire. fire. <laughs> Nobody can start say time. Is it the twins? Is it the twins have gotten oh, there and they're just like, it's, it's gotta be the twins. Yeah, the twins. Uh, I've decided the names of the twins are like Zero and Zim. That's what we call them. The twins, Zero, Zero and Zim. Nice. Zero and Zim just start to like just throw down and have that. Um, All right. Okay. Uh, I think I also want to discover something new. Uh, the small family of demons that helped build the house mm -hmm. have started to realize, like the, the, the two, the mom and the dad of the family, um, uh, have started to realize that they are developing real feelings for each other and decide to actually, uh, uh, decide to actually consummate those feelings. Gross. Um, and they did this in secret some time ago. And now, now the woman has started to feel ill. And she doesn't understand why. Old, old. Is a mystery. We we have a feeling that this consummation happened while they were building our outhouses. Like <laughs> an auspicious beginning. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. So All right. that, well, that's what we have discovered. That the, the woman has recently been feeling ill and they like they have been kind of questioned by the leaders asking them, well, what have you been doing lately? I mean, is it the mushrooms? No, we haven't been eating the mushrooms. Well, what else have you been doing? Well, 
Well, interlocking. We were we we did a thing. They, they, they were entangled. We were entangled in a way. Uh, there was an entangling and enmeshing that happened. <laughs> Disgusting. There was friction involved. There was lots of sweat. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean, that it sounds terrible, terrible. But, but, but it felt pleasant. It was very pleasant. Oh, well, that's terrible. We I want to hear more like about it. Yeah. Like, there were parts of it that were very awkward and uncomfortable, like deeply disturbing. Um, Can you tell of, me more about that? Yes. Like just some deeply disturbing, like 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 things that must be like positioned in places. It was just how do these people, how do these humans function this way? What you're describing is a ritual. You got to put things in the right places, and then somebody gets possessed, and something goes inside them. And this is standard yeah. demon stuff. She's possessed. Then she's possessed with something. It's clearly a possession. Yeah. Oh, we oh, should send her to the graveyard. Yeah. Send her to the graveyard to commune with the ghosts since she is oh, possessed. Yes. Yes. This is a good yes. idea. All right, she's banished. Banished until she comes back with something good from the ghosts. From yeah, you're, with, you're, with, you're with Chad and... Piss off, Chad Renee. And, uh, and the Chadettes. Chad and the Chadettes. <laughs> piss off, <laughs> Renee. Is that the name? Poor Renee. Chad and piss off, <laughs> Renee. Yeah, her name is Renee. All right. And I, I want to say that her husband is probably named Samuel. Samuel and Renee. Samuel and Renee. Okay. Well, that is definitely something interesting that has been discovered. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Piss off, Renee. Uh, I, took the, I took the number down to five, so we're good. Go hang out with the ghost. <laughs> Randy, go for it. Yeah. All right. So, Man, into raw. Okay. It says, are there children in the community? If there are, what is their role? We already know that. Um, how old is the eldest member of the community? What special need do they have? Mm. So old gray and young gray, I think, are probably our oldest members. But how old do we think they are? I mean, we're demons. So we're obviously like actually millennia years old. But like in human years, what would we do? What would we like put old gray at? Like for real. And like this so is this this is this is somebody who's like uh, been working, I think, kind of um with the cows like maybe a few of a few of the members of the community have like they're around the, the watering hole you know taking a break from having like tended to the cows and they're just sort of gossiping among them there's themselves like this little clutch of of demons it's like so like old gray is old like old yeah. old like how old would we say that he is it's like like is he five years like 80 old? no I, I i heard i heard that when the bad guy upstairs made the world mm -hmm. probably day four is when he made old Mr. Old Gray. What? No. Way back then, yes. He's one of the original fallen angels, bro. Dude. One of the originals. That guy's probably forgotten more ways to torture somebody than I'll ever know. Yeah, no. What a legend. I feel like legend. we could get some like decent mentorship from Old Gray if we ever managed to make it back to hell. I mean, yeah, because in his oh, current sure. body, like he remembers nothing and just daughters around falling on his face all the time. He's useless. And that that young Gray, like yeah. he he's just as useless. He's balding. I didn't I know. even know humans did that all the time. What is this? I always wondered why they had such shiny heads, and now I realize it's not even up to them. Right. Well, I think it's just that, you know, the world grows to hate them so much and it includes their hair and it just sort of like flees. It just runs like away. Flees away. Look. Yeah, it runs away. If I was anyway, like on my head, I'd run away. All right. So let me put that away. 
So do we need to or, uh, we yeah, I need to yeah. take down these items. I need to take down. This well, one. somebody else can do it while you're. Okay. you're yeah. You so yeah, yeah, do your thing. What I want to decide okay. to do. I got it. Is let's see. I want to discover something. Um, but what I'm going to discover is a, a little different. You know Norma Jean. Remember her. She came here. She was nice. We all. She also was bitten by one of the children. You know, small details. Yeah. She apparently went home and told some of her grown-up friends, though, that we were here, and that I mean they've been talking about us already. But that one of us tried to eat her, or you know, and some of the ones who defected were telling our story, you know, and that wow. when they found out that they needed to cleanse us. They, I hear. This is just what I hear, is they're training some of their priests to get ready to come here to convert us. Yeah. I thought you were about to go warrior priest, and I was <laughs> Well, they can excited. be warrior priests. They can be warrior priests. I like it. They have, they've oh. picked up the act. Like, the only sword they've ever had is that damned book, and that book doesn't do jack shit. I know, those idiots turned all their swords into plowshares. Morons. Yeah, so they're coming. I'm going to draw something on the map for them because that just sounds fun. Uh, oh, yes, our warrior. So plate. you were, sorry, you were. Yeah. Is that discovering something? Yeah, that's what I discovered, that they're preparing uh, a, a religion to come okay. and get us. Preparing a missionary. Oh, yeah. nobody, nobody expects the Montana Inquisition. Nope, nope. <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> so how I'm going to signify this is like this. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. A shot and the sword. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I love like people people who showed up here and knew what the quiet year was were were not expecting what they're getting right now. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I like, oh, they're going to be on an island and like looking for like coconuts and catching fish. It's like, no, no, no. I was like, you guys not seen true. who I cast in the show, right? Like you, you, you had to have known what was coming, right? No. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right. Let's see. When is spring over? I mean, spring, I'm done oh, with we're, you. We're almost done with spring. Okay. Let's see. It only gets um, worse. Why are you done with spring? Because spring is gross. There's is flowers. Disgusting. There's little spring like those fire. those little flying things. They're kind of cute, but kind of terrifying at the same time. They, they don't. You can never tell where they're gonna move. It's very distressing. Ah. <sighs> okay. A young boy starts digging in the ground and discovers something unexpected. What is it? Or an old man confesses to past, uh, I'm gonna call it good deeds. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and what is the opposite of an atrocity? Uh, uh, of, oh gosh, I, a fortuitous a event. Very, yeah. Uh, let's see. Philanthropies. Um, <laughs> Philanthropy. Yeah. yeah. Philanthropy sounds a right. A demon philanthropist. Um, so I'm going to go with the young boy starts digging in the ground and discovers something unexpected. So, uh, one of the, uh, two of the younger, uh, boys, you know, maybe like eight, nine, something like that. Uh, they decide when they slip away from the rest of the group that they're going to go into the, uh, the, the smite crater, uh, and they start digging and they actually uncover something really weird. It is a, uh, it appears to be a giant skeleton of some kind, a giant dead thing buried in the earth. Uh, but the thing that they happen to uncover first looks like a hand, a giant hand full of like giant bone claws, like claws. Um, and so they're very excited and they come back, they come back to everyone and they're like, they're like, demons of hell, demons of hell, demons of hell. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my, oh wait, 
Oh my God. We said, oh my, oh, stop it. We're still saying it. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Well, take the name in vain or uh, something, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the name in vain. Do it. Okay, yeah. That's what we were doing. Um, so they come. <laughs> I, can't, oh, I can't help but say, oh my God. Oh, sweet Lucifer, um, help us. <laughs> So they come back, they come back with the, with the like bones and they're like, they're very excited about their discovery and uh, how maybe there's more under the ground and we can use them, use these for weaponry. Uh, certainly uh, someone immediately takes one of them, one of those claws and goes off with murder in their eyes after one of those cows. I'm going to tell you that right now. Oh yeah, the cows are, <laughs> uh, get it. It's the end of so, the cows. Now that we've discovered how delicious it is. So that's, that's what happens. Hooray. Uh, take that back. Um, so yeah, I guess I could draw it. I'll draw it later when I'm done with uh, with my turn. But um, Whoa. so was, I was trying I'm to going change to... the number. <laughs> that was cool though. We've only got one project <laughs> going right now, yeah? Yeah, uh, we, yeah. We it, down. Yeah. it needs to go down one. Yeah, I was trying, how, how, how do I do it so that I can also have some of that response? So if you, if you go to uh, the paintbrush yeah. and you click on text, you can, yeah. you can decide what font and size. I've been doing 32 okay, because uh, it's big enough to be seen. And then you can just type the number somewhere near that. And then what we've been doing the other, with, to erase is that we've just been doing the freehand in this uh, yellow color to erase. Okay, so I will make it. So make it disappear. <laughs> I'm going to start a project. There is a there is a sect of the community um, that is just a hundred and ten percent determined to get back to hell. Mm -hmm. So they are going to build um, a satanic shrine to, as a way to attempt to entice uh, their devil magic to come back to help them to maybe go home or to maybe come in usefulness uh, while they're... So they take that to uh, right here near the, near, the, uh, near the cemetery to add the power from the dead. Um, and what on the other side, away from the cross as much as possible. I wish I had looked up uh, satanic. Uh, I just uh, drop. That would have been a Google search. Just draw a pentagram. It'll work. I, oh, yeah. 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 yeah, it's an upside down star in a circle. Should be fine. Yeah. Don't I worry. Don't worry. We're you not want me to draw one for you? Satan in this, or are we? Uh, I can't. I can't. An upside down star. I always draw stars right side up. No, listen, I'll get into this. I will draw it. Max, you go for it. Uh, okay. Your turn, and I'm going to handle this while you're talking. Right. Uh, let's see. Spring. Here we go. This is the last spring card. Oh, the last one. Oh. Yeah, because it's 12, 12 cards per suite, right? Uh, I would have to. No, it's a, Is it 13? It's 13. It's 13. So we, have 13. we have one more cap to this. Yeah. But we're yeah. almost there. Spring is almost finished. Is this is kind of like playing. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, uh, it's kind of like playing what? What important basic tools did the community lack? Or where are you storing your food? Why is this a risky place to store things? Uh oh, interesting. What is it? Uh, I think we're going to go with where are we storing our food? Um, because uh, obviously the teens have started uh, becoming quite proficient at murder, which is amazing. Um, and the cow population is dwindling somewhat, but, uh, but also the entrail production has gotten really high. So for when those folks finish that uh, satanic shrine, we're going to be like, good shape. <laughs> But um, I think that we are storing our food probably, well, probably in the ranch house. Oh no, we kind of demolished the ranch house and turned it into weapons, right, didn't we? And so it's just got a basement. Well, okay, here's my pitch. Yeah, it's <laughs> got the hole. 
Yeah, that's the whole goes that's, somewhere. Yeah, it's, there's that 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 ding dang cellar that we haven't really right explored yet. So we've here. mostly just been killing and eating what we needed to like eat that day, right? It's like right. kill this thing, eat this thing, eat some mushrooms, had a crazy time. Uh, <laughs> But, Everybody all the time. But a few of the teenagers, they were they were having a crazy time, and they killed like too many cows. And they're like, "Shit, we gotta like do some of these cows." And they're like, "Well, we can't just leave them out here. Like bears and stuff will eat them." And so they were like, "Yeah, well, let's put them in the hole." Like, You're a freaking genius. So three of the teenagers like dragged a cow over to the hole and like chucked it in there, and they're like, "Yeah, good idea." That's gonna be sweet. Nothing bad is gonna happen here. This, this is, is okay. Fine. This is totally fine. Everything's gonna be perfect. Wait, what? Why did they throw? Why did they throw the cow in the hole? I'm because sorry, I was very busy drawing my terrible tent oh. pentagram. What? They they killed the cow and they didn't want to waste the meat and leaving it out would have attracted bears and wolves and stuff. So they wanted to put it in the hole to like keep it away from animals. <laughs> right. We're 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 so smart. Yeah. Like this is totally Dude. fine. Dude. Guys, do you see the really fun rainbow colors that are happening right now? Yeah. That's and seriously, so it's up there too. But look inside this cow. It's the same stuff. Oh my God. We're all made of star stuff. You know what I mean? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. That, you shut your face cool. right now. All right. You cool. stop with that. Go knock That's this marker good. down to two and then knock the. Does the two for this one like by two months? No, I just we we forgot to talk about how long this. Oh yeah. Oh, I think we would take, it was so I just said, like six weeks to make the oh, satanic shrine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. No, like two weeks sounds good to me. Yeah. 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 I was just going to lower it to one, and then the other one needs to go to two, right? So yes. Yeah, okay. that sounds good. Um, Ooh, okay, so three. It needs to be two. Working on it. Um, so kids have stored the dead cow in the basement and are pretty stoned about it. Um, and when they threw it in there, they were like, there were some, some sounds. And they're not really sure what they heard. It was like, you know, they can't really trust their senses so much, but one of them was like, man, it was totally language. Like, I don't know what language, not demonic, which is weird, but it was like talking to me. Like, I heard it. We like, need to figure out something what? to do with these teenagers besides just let them kill stuff. <laughs> they destroyed our food population. <laughs> Why though? That them learning to kill things is important. Oh, yeah. I'm not disagreeing with that at all. I'm just they saying. You need that to be good demons. Yeah, you're not wrong. I think what I'm concerned mm -hmm. about is that they are killing things at an extremely high rate. And uh, we have no idea how much longer we're going to be here. Yes, it is not oh, sustainable, says. Uh, well, <laughs> What was my guy's name? The very first Buster. guy. Buster. Oh. Buster. Buster. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, that's Buster, the one I did. Buster, Brad, uh, Roger. Old, Roger. Old Gray, yeah. Young Gray. Felicia. <laughs> oh, yeah, Felicia. Felicia. We also have mentioned Jack the Flayer, and we have yeah, Georgina, obviously, who's running around and stuff, <laughs> and Renee and Samuel, who are our pregnant parents. Uh, and the twins, uh, Zeril and Zim. Yes. And uh, the bone carvers, who are our construction crew, the scouting and team. Our, and our, our scouting team. I have to tell you, I was like, we should. I should start naming these people when we create them. I should name them like weird, like weird. You know, demonic, sounds like, like they could be demonic names. <laughs> but then I was like, no, that's too hard to think of off the off the top of my head. So everyone's going to be George and Fred and Roger and Felicia. The I love it. That's, just, that's great. 
The only name I've been able to come up with is somebody named Celery Morpstein. And I was like, that's not helping anybody. <laughs> if anyone wants to use Celery Morpstein. That guy is the least cool oh. demon of all. I <laughs> He's like a this, loser. This is coming from a dude who plays a character called Fiddlesticks Blastmouth. It's yeah. so true. All right. So um, what what do you want to do for your action? Oh, right. An action. Um, we haven't held a discussion in a long time. Yeah, that's um, a check in with each other and i i know i don't know if i'm allowed to kind of do this from the perspective of a certain character you but, can do uh, whatever you want you can do whatever you want right no, no. it's our choice <laughs> so there are no um, gms here they can't tell you no that's true i'm allowed to do this from the perspective of a certain character what's up now yeah. um all right so zeril and zim have entered into the council chambers and i like Hey, everybody. We've been desecrating like crazy over here, and we're doing such a good job. We we smeared poop inside all of your houses, and we've been <laughs> smearing blood all over the place. And that skeleton that's in the cave, that's in the pit now, we carved our names in it, and we also carved Chad as a butt. And we're doing amazing work everywhere. But I, I gotta tell you, it doesn't really seem like all that more demonic here than it did before. So, you were just wondering if you had any ideas on, like, other ways we should be desecrating this stuff, because, you know, the classics don't seem to be working. <laughs> well, why are you desecrating our things? I, I think that the maybe this would be a little bit more productive if you were desecrating other people's things. Mm -hmm. Desecrating mm -hmm. ourselves isn't a big deal. We don't care. We're used to it. But what about, what about, you know? <gasps> what about, no. Wait, no. And what? then someone next door just kind of speaks up and he's like, what if we talk to Georgina and have her do a murder? It'll set, it'll set all the humans, just all a Twitter. And they'll be very upset and they'll accuse each other and they might come after us and then we can stir them in the guts and just take the rib cages and just rip them right open and throw them on the ground and i don't know that sounds pretty desecrating does it not me to like me, to see yes. we can we can paint our new satanic shrine when it's completed with their blood <laughs> <laughs> All right, Did all we right. build the rack yet? I need a rack to work. Then we must build no a rack. No drawn A rack. Yeah. <gasps> uh, Zero and Zem, do you feel comfortable going uh, and acting as our as our our messengers to Georgina? <laughs> Absolutely, Roger. Right. No problem I mean, at all. We'll happily go over the mountains and infiltrate this stupid human camp. Georgina, I must find all sorts. Do it at night. Be quiet. Don't be seen or you'll ruin everything. Don't ruin everything? Can't do it. Listen, you can ruin everything all the time, except when you're ruining things for us, Zero and Zim. So ruin everything. Do it at night. That's close enough, I guess. Can do. <laughs> all right. Go make us proud. All right, this is the last card of spring. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we haven't made it through spring. I was like, so, I think um, we're gonna need a second episode for this, you guys. Oh, I don't know. We're definitely <laughs> gonna need a second episode. And uh, maybe maybe we do a truncated summer, perhaps. Uh, maybe a truncated <laughs> autumn as well. Oh yeah. We got See, too I mean, wrapped up in watch, devilry. Uh, I don't know. It's too funny fun. Watch us truncate summer and autumn, and the very first card we draw for winter <laughs> is the first shepherd. So it's just like, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. You'd be like, cool. I did not see that. No one saw that one. It's fine. Just keep going. We have like 20 more minutes. That's what we'll say. Yep. yep. You didn't Fun see that. There's anything. no GM. You can just cheat. See, see, yeah, yep. that's why. Yep. <laughs> you can absolutely just cheat. Nobody can stop us. All right. Last card of spring. The Ace of Hearts. What group has the highest status in the community? What must people do to gain inclusion in this group? 
are there distinct family units in the community? If so, what family structures are common? I think we've already started to define like some of our family units slash like kind of groups, but I like the idea of like lensing in on our council of elders, I guess. Um, uh, what must people do to gain inclusion in this group? I think that Roger, Chad, Buster, and Felicia's standards are obscenely high. And the only way you really get into this group is if you are uh, proving your worth in a way that is uh, both demonically uh, relevant, but also provides for the rest of the community. It's not enough to just be causing trouble. That trouble must have like an end to it that will help all of us. So I think that the, the group that has decided specifically that it's made its admission to like, to get us back into hell has particularly won favor with our group. Like the satanic shrine is all our council has been talking about for the last couple, like for the last two weeks. And oh, look, a project has ended on my turn again, so I get to talk about it. Um, also, we should take down the other one. I'll get it. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so the satanic shrine is completed, uh -huh. and it's very obvious that we have learned from our outhouse mistakes because this actually <laughs> looks like something. This actually <laughs> looks like something. Like. It, it's much improved. It's almost as if like having the ranch nearby served as some valuable inspiration for how to properly construct a building. Like it's been painted black. You know, there are all kinds of like, like demonic carvings in it. Um, like they've really just gone to town artistically on this building and inside it's just we got our racks, we got our implements of torture, we have a sacrificial pit, like we even built like a giant human sized spit to go over it. Like it's, it's nice. Some prime <laughs> demonic shit happening over here. So yeah. I think I would also like to start a project. The project that I want to start is um I would like for us to start building some traps and defenses along this line between the other, the human town and us, like putting some traps in these mountains, like sending a squad to like go and do that. Um, because I think that, you know, jacking a few of them up on their way over, it sounds like fun to me. Obviously we don't want to jack them up too much because then we don't get to fight and like, you know, have our own fun but like let's take out some of the weaker ones like so only the strong remain then we can really have some fun um so yeah i think i think that the the project i want to start is laying traps and uh uh stuff like that in the mountain range and how long do you think something like that will take how extensive are we talking um i mean like they're kind of northern of us. Like it's it's a fairly big range to cover. Right. Right. Like three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah, I was gonna say two, maybe three, because like the teens are definitely murder happy crazies right now, and we've got the scouting crew who's like pretty capable. Got, so yeah. yeah, the weapons from from the dismantled place. Yeah, so, yeah. three weeks. Yeah. I would say. All right, cool. So I'm gonna be over here drawing that. So uh, we'll have our first turn of summer. Oh, Who knew we could do something normal? Uh, <laughs> we could do something normal, like build a trap. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I think what we're going to do is we're going to start the summer and then we're going to finish there. Does that yep. sound good, everybody? So that we we kind of have, or do we want to finish here and start with summer in the next uh, next I, session? I think we finish here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that makes sense. All right. Cool. So uh, I need to somehow. So before the next session, I'll make sure to draw some trap stuff up in this up in these mountains. But I just want to take the time. Who's drawing bones? <laughs> I am. You we, you said there was a giant claw, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, no, thank yeah. you. Yes. Uh, so claw, claw, claw. That's uh, it. I want to say thank you to everybody who joined us today. I have a few uh, closing announcements before we finish. Um, uh, please make sure to join us on Sunday at 4 p.m. here on Saving Throw Show for the season finale of New Pantheon Academia. Wait, what's that show? I've never heard of that show. Yeah. Is that a sh 
Who knows? Who's yeah, someone? Know. Make, who's even in that show? Does anybody even watch it? Like, not I. I, there I do. No, I mean, not, I'm not all. in it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Obviously, I'm in New Pantheon Academia, and we're having our finale on Sunday, so make sure you come and check us out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yay! And don't forget, the following Sunday, we will be having a special marathon uh, of a sev- uh, of all of our big name shows, uh, doing a charity marathon for the Trevor uh, Project. Uh, that will be on Sunday, February 7th, starting at 10 a.m. Pacific, and we have several special guests coming in and giveaways, so make sure you check us out. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, Critical Bard is going to be guesting on my show, and I am super excited because I finally get to play with him, and I haven't had the chance to. Uh, I want to thank everybody who gifted subscriptions. I want to thank everybody who subbed. Uh, I saw a couple of friends of the family stop in, so thank you. Hi, friendos. Thank you, friends, for coming in and and supporting the show and the channel. Um, We are going to raid Hello Goodberry after the show, so please stick around for the raid, and... uh, Remember, everyone, uh, all that really matters is who you bring to the table. Bye. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Thank wait, you. Wait, I forgot. I, I hope we're, hopefully we're not off. Everybody, please go around really fast and tell them where they can find you. See, you can tell this is my first time doing this because, hey. So oh. uh, let's start with, uh, let's start, let's go back the other way. Let's go counterclockwise. Max, where can they find you? Uh, oh, um, I'm easy to find. Uh, I'm pretty much only on Twitter, but I'm there a lot. Uh, at odd so times can, of the night, <laughs> making very me. strange posts. <laughs> yeah. You know, somebody's got to fill the wee hours. Um, at Brosis Movies. It's B R O S I S M O V I E S. Great. And Amanda, where can they find you? Yeah. So I am also mostly on Twitter. Uh, you can find me at Geek Powers. Um, you know, if you want to try my Instagram when nothing is happening and if nothing exciting is happening, why would you not, why would you put it on your Instagram? Um, but it's, I have geek powers, I think is my Instagram. So geek powers on Twitter. I have geek powers on Instagram. Great. Come say hi. Cool. Randy, where can they find you? Yeah. So I just rebuilt my Twitter because the last one was in Japanese. So the new one is, uh, Roller Raja which is R-O-L-L-E-R-R-A-J-A. And just so you know, the R-A-J-A are my initials. That's where it comes from. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And I'm Aki. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, though I rarely ever use my Instagram, so really big waste of your time to follow me there. Uh, at Mix Genie in a Bottle, that's M-X-G-I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. And yeah, we'll catch you guys next week. Same time, same place, playing the second part of uh, a quiet, uh, the quiet year. And until then, bye. 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 bye.